Australia has long been a popular destination for temporary workers seeking opportunities in a range of industries, and recent developments have resulted in significant changes to the subclass 400 visa, often known as the Temporary Work Short Stay Specialist Visa. The Australian government has just tightened rules and procedures with the intention of making the requirements and conditions for persons requesting this visa more stringent. This video examines the characteristics of the subclass 400 visa, the most recent modifications, their effects, and the implications for migrants. Overview of the subclass 400 visa. Foreign nationals can work in Australia for a brief period of time under the subclass 400 visa if the job needs specialized knowledge, expertise, or abilities that are hard to come by in the Australian labor market. In the past, this visa has been a vital resource for companies looking to fill urgent temporary positions, especially in sectors like healthcare, technology, mining, and construction. The visa can be renewed for up to six months in some extraordinary circumstances, but it is only given for a maximum of three months. Unlike other Australian work visas, including the subclass 482 temporary skill shortage visa, which usually serves medium to long-term labor shortages, it is intended for transitory, non-ongoing work. Recent changes to the subclass 400 visa. The Australian government has made the decision to tighten regulations for the subclass 400 visa in response to mounting worries about the abuse of temporary workers, undercutting of the local labor, and job market saturation in specific industries. The following are recent changes to this visa. 1. Tightened eligibility criteria. The Australian government has limited the definition of specialist employment under the new regulations, and as a result, candidates must now provide stronger proof that their knowledge and abilities are wholly original and unmatched in the Australian workforce. In order to satisfy the updated qualifying requirements, Candidates must provide documentation of their training, work history, and an invitation from an Australian company attesting to the necessity of their specific knowledge. In order to avoid an over-reliance on foreign labour in fields that Australians could otherwise occupy, the government has also intensified its attention on businesses experiencing real skill shortages. 2. Stricter duration limits and conditions Although the subclass 400 visa is still mainly granted for three-month work durations, under the current regulations, extensions beyond this period should be far less prevalent. The government has made it clear that the purpose of the visa is for really temporary, one-time employment. Depending on the situation, it may be given for up to six months, but under the current policy, stays are only permitted for three months in the last 12 months. Three more rigorous application process. Subclass 400 visa applications now have to include extensive supporting evidence about the candidate's education and work history, making the procedure more stringent than before. The ability to apply for more than one subclass 400 visa in a single year has been eliminated by the Australian government. Also, applicants for visas are now required to make the most of the time allotted on their first application as extensions or further applications filed in the same year are not permitted. 4. No re-entry within 12 months. A visa holder is not allowed to return to Australia during the same 12-month term if they depart before their three-month stay is over. This restricts back-to-back -back admissions and guarantees that the visa is only used for temporary employment. 5 increased scrutiny on employers. Employers will now be scrutinized more closely when trying to sponsor holders of subclass 400 visas. Some firms have previously been charged for undermining Australian workers by hiring cheaper labor and circumventing local employment regulations by utilizing temporary work visas. In response, the government has put more compliance controls in place to make sure the visa is being used for what it was designed for. Before recruiting foreign workers, employers must demonstrate that they have conducted sufficient labor market testing. Implications for temporary workers and employers Although the subclass 400 visa is still mainly granted for three-month work durations, under the current regulations, extensions beyond this period should be far less prevalent. The Australian government has made it clear that the purpose of the visa is for really temporary one-time employment. Therefore, in order to get an extension of stay, 
applicants will need to present a more compelling case for why their job cannot be finished within the initial visa period. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching.